Good morning. I've got two fans, okay? This one is so I have cold air blowing on me. And this one is for sound. It's been a minute since we've just woken up and relaxed together. Maybe it hasn't been a minute. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to do it. Um, I had plans, you know? I had plans today to get African food, actually. Those plans kind of fell through because I found out today is National Burrito Day. When y'all see this, it will be the day after National Burrito Day. So hopefully you got a burrito yesterday. So I'll be pounding down a burrito for dinner on TikTok. So I thought we could spend breakfast together here. In my last video, I relaxed with like an energy drink, you know, from the gardening store. And I enjoyed it so much that I went out and bought enough to stock up my entire fridge. It was really good. So we have another energy drink this morning. I figured we could pound this down and go get breakfast or something. Let's crack open this energy drink. Ooh, they always squirt everywhere. Cheers, buddy. Ooh, so good. Time for me to get up, brush my teeth, get ready, and then we can get some breakfast. I would like to do this preferably before this kicks in. If you're curious to know how unpacking is going for me, it's not. <laughs> Yo, I'm still not unpacked. I'm just putting it off. I don't know why. No bonnet today, if you didn't notice, because uh, this is my bonnet right here. One day I came into the bathroom and it was just filled with water for some reason. And I have no idea why. I don't know how, I don't know what happened. It was just filled with water and I didn't do that. So I just got scared to put it on my head ever since. I wanna buy a new one. Haven't gotten around to it though. Check out, I don't know if this is gonna be entertaining for the men that are in here. Just take a hit or something right now while I do this. Check out these earrings I got. They're so cute, right? They're from Target. Eight bucks for this one. Another eight dollars. Six. That's insane to me, honestly. We're literally just going to get breakfast, so I'm pretty much just gonna throw on a step above pajamas, to be honest. Taking that energy drink in. I'm feeling good already, but that's just because it's a great day. Every day is a great day. It's. A a great day is a mindset, y'all. Don't forget that. A great day is a mindset. You're in control of that. Question, what order do you do your dental routine in? Uh, recently, I posted a video on my dental routine. Oh, say hello, Dracula. <laughs> I always who wants to say hi. But yeah, I posted my routine and I showed that I flossed, brushed my teeth, then do mouthwash. Apparently, that's not how you're supposed to do it. People were like, oh, I floss, mouthwash, then brush. But like, I tried to do this new routine that everyone was like, yeah, like this is actually the right way to do it. I can't, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel right. Dang, you know what I really wanna try for breakfast? Joe and the Juice, that freaking tuna cotto or whatever the heck sandwich that they have that like blew up on social media. I wanna try whatever the heck that was. But the closest one to me is literally like, 30 minutes away, oh my gosh, I'm not driving to that. I tell you, these energy drinks are insane. I love, like don't get don't get me wrong now, I love hanging out with Jointavious. I do it every day, Jointavious is my best friend. But just imagine like having your friend over in the morning, like, hey, why don't you come over like when you wake up? Like we can make breakfast together, we can go get breakfast, right? Y'all just sit outside on the porch, crack one of these energy drinks open and you just chill. I'll show y'all my dental routine. I believe I've showed it to you already, but let's do a re-up on it. Hydrogen peroxide on my toothbrush. So I had somebody that had commented and was like, oh, that's bad for your teeth. It's really not. At least I don't think so. I've been doing it for 10 years, so <laughs> I hope not. People are like, oh, you're gonna wanna like dilute it with something. I am. Toothpaste. It mixes with the toothpaste in my mouth. Boom. The reason why I use peroxide, because I feel like somebody's gonna ask. When I was growing up, my dad told me it would make my teeth white. So I started and I just never stopped because a huge dream of mine was to have white teeth. That humbling moment when you like jab your toothbrush in the back of your throat and just like <laughs> My God. 
Another thing people told me that I do that's wrong, I rinse my mouth with water after I brush my teeth. Apparently that rinses the fluoride off or whatever. I can't not do that because the taste that's in my mouth from the toothpaste like makes me like feel sick. I don't like it. It reminds me of like when I was a kid, if I accidentally like swallowed a little bit of toothpaste and then I'd get like a stomach ache. No. <laughs> now we get into this. <laughs> Ooh. My breath feels very fresh. Okay, I should wash my face. I have like no soap left whatsoever. My face routine hasn't changed at all. Still gonna be washing with this. That's what we've got, let's do it. All right, same lotion. Nice and moisturized. This is the part where we figure out what we're gonna wear. I'm gonna do something very simple, so I'll show you. Okay, I just found out it's actually cold outside. Also, Jointavius might be coming to hang out right now. It's like 50 something degrees outside, and I don't know if you're like for you guys, but for me, that's cold. Just sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Like I said, one step up from pajamas, baby. Back to our energy drink. All right, let's put it on. Don't forget deodorant. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go to a local coffee spot or if I wanna go to this chain that I've been going to called the Coffee Bean. I might end up going to the Coffee Bean because I'm like really craving this. Uh, they have like this wrap that has like pesto, egg, mozzarella in it. I like drench it in hot sauce. I think it's healthier and I think that'd be good for me to eat because y'all, I got acid reflux. My own fault. Since moving here, I developed uh, an addiction. Yes, a real addiction to Jack in the Box. I swear they're putting something in there. It was the other day I had ramen, right? Like not fancy ramen, not ramen from a restaurant. It was literally yakisoba noodles. Just not, it was on sale too, 99 cents. It was not, it's 99 cent ramen that I pound down and I drench it in hot sauce. So already sodium off the charts, right? It's to the point, the amount of hot sauce I put I, I jokingly say, but like not jokingly, that the hot sauce should be the broth. So do with that information what you will. I'm sure you can imagine how much I put in there. I do pair it with a cucumber, don't worry. It kind of like balances it out. But anyway, I went out that night and I ended up being out really late. And so I was on my way home and I was like, hey, I'm hungry. What's open? So I went to Jack in the Box, got my Jack in the Box. I don't feel like my fault is so much in with what I order, but the amount of sauces that I ingest. I ingested like five sauces alone just to eat a fry and one of those like crispy chicken wraps. I woke up the next day and I was like, I'm never having Jack in the Box again. <clears throat> had acid reflux so bad. I'm trying to make myself presentable. Like, I really don't feel like doing anything with my hair. I think I have decided I'm gonna go to the coffee bean because that wrap just sounds so good right now. My acid reflux will just have to figure it out tonight when it comes to that burrito because why would I not get a burrito on National Burrito Day? How does that make sense? I actually wanted to get a burrito from Qdoba because I've never been there before and I heard it's really good, but Qdoba, the closest one is also insanely far away. So I won't be doing that. It's either gonna be a local restaurant or it's gonna be just good old fashioned Chipotle. A Chipotle burrito that like I don't hold back on. Like I put the double meat, extra, extra queso. Matter of fact, throw in the whole container of sour cream, you know? Dang. I was gonna say that we're gonna go eat breakfast like at the top of my parking garage with like a nice little view. I'm kinda concerned though, what if it's cloudy and we can't see anything? We'll be able to, we, we'll be able to. I'm speaking into existence that we'll be able to. All right, boom, I'm ready to go. Just got some slippers on, man. Okay, I just got my coffee and food. I wanted to take a sip before I go. I just got a um, vanilla latte. What did I always get? Holy crap. That's really good. I don't <laughs> Hold on a second. Why does that taste so good? Oh my gosh, that's the best that they've ever made it. And then, let me show you the wrap that I was talking about. Oh, amazing. Alright, let's go to the roof. 
We're at the top of my parking garage. Y'all check this out. This view is so amazing, man. To be able to just like sit here and eat and look at this is such a blessing. I feel like the luckiest person in the world, man. Bro, it's so good. I wish I could play freaking music because I could go for listening to some Frank Ocean right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Yup. Yeah. Mm. We haven't had a good old fashioned just like eat and chat in a minute, ma'am. What's new with you? What have you been up to? Like m moving? I've been up to moving, y'all. Moving for me. I got here and I'm like so happy about being here, but like I can't bring myself to unpack for some reason. I can't bring myself to like unpack my clothes because it's like so mentally draining, I feel like. Clothes are the most mentally draining like chore that you can do. And you have to have like time in your day to do it too because you have to have enough time in the day to put the clothes in the washing machine, wait for it to wash, put it in the dryer, wait for it to dry. Oh y'all. And then folding takes forever, buddy. Dang, buddy. I love a good old fashioned just wake and bake, bro. It's the best thing. I really gotta start making some friends out here so I can like do what I said earlier about like having let somebody come over like right when they wake up. You guys just like relax together, you know, you have your little drinks, like your energy drinks, or you hang out with Jointavious, something, right? And you make breakfast and just hang out, watch TV. That sounds like an amazing Sunday morning. That would be a perfect Sunday morning thing to do. Have y'all seen the movie um, Dune? I haven't seen the first or the second one. I haven't seen either of them. I, wa I really wanna see those movies because they just look like they're so good. They look like something that I'd really like. I love like, if you've got recommendations, please like leave them in the comments or like send them to me. I like like fantasy TV shows and stuff. Like I watched The Witcher recently. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Buddy, The Witcher is so good. That's like a perfect example of like fantasy TV shows I like. I love when they have like monsters or like creatures in them or something. That is so cool to me. I love seeing that. I was a big fan of Game of Thrones because of the dragons that were in there. I feel like Game of Thrones would have been like a million times better if like the different kingdoms were like different creatures and stuff. Like that would have made the show even better. What? And The Red Wedding? That scene would have been even crazier ah i love shows like that so if you've got recommendations but yeah that's why i want to watch dune because it's like a fantasy show like that it's like a fantasy movie the thing about like infused stuff it really really like hits you after you eat something i wish i was listening to frank ocean and chilling but hey buddy it's cool i feel like frank ocean would let me play his music in the car right now What time is it? Oh, it's only 12 o'clock. Wow. You'll like relax and then look at the time and like time goes by so slow. Like it's so early right now. There's so much time in the day. Make sure you're doing something with your time. How was I eating this before? Mm. Let me show you these mountains again. Because this is what I've been looking at the whole time. That's so pretty to me. I'm back in my apartment. I like melted into my phone, like scrolling when I was on my couch. That'll happen if I just sit down while I'm relaxed. Like I have to be up and moving around. So I am about to go for a walk. First, let's chop down on a piece of gum because that just sounds really good right now. I'm still feeling pretty up there. 
and it's gonna be great but i'm also gonna take my pal jointavious on the walk with me to touch up if i need to you know i might i think i'm just gonna keep the sweatshirt that i have on because it seems fine and just throw on some shorts i think this is kind of turning into like a full day vlog which i think is a great idea listen to me ladies out there i'm gonna show you something if you get these shorts like these gym shorts when you put them on pull it up your crack i'm so serious look i'll show you can you see this is like no crack action right now look doesn't it look good wise advice from jezebel these are the best walking shoes ever these are literally the best what are these clifton's or clifton eights or something like that i'm not lying to you when i say that look at how worn they are I need a new pair, but low key they're expensive, okay? I've got the tiniest amount left of like seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my seasoning for baking later. It is April and you know, the month of the 20th, <laughs> the month of one of the only holidays that is celebrated globally. <laughs> it's not really just a one day kind of celebration for me because like I know that not all of you guys may have the luxury of being off for that day so maybe you're celebrating on a different day I would like to do more of like a month-long celebration and create like a bunch of really cool content for you guys so if you're someone that's not fortunate enough to be off no matter what day you're relaxing I'll be relaxing with you is this like ASMR She's beautiful, perfect. Let's go for our pre-burrito walk. Here's some of the art that I see on my walk. That one's really fire down there. Walking by this makes me feel like I should eat at Phil's Diner. I've never even been there. I'm new here, so maybe it's a staple place that I should go though. Said it's just supposed to be cloudy, but it's low key looking like it might start raining. Some more really cool art. Look how much closer to the mountains we are. That is from walking three miles. <laughs> Once I really just like get into it after like relaxing, bro, I start pushing. I could go forever. But now we have to turn around and walk three miles back. What an interesting find. Also, if you're wondering where the music's coming from, there's just a guy playing his accordion. All right. I'm back home. Boom, cheese its Just a little free uh, burrito snack. You know, get me amped up for it. It's like an appetizer. I have to just find the place that I'm gonna get the burrito from. I want something serious. Like, I want it packed with steak. I want it sloppy, you know, like rice, beans, veggies, avocado, sour cream. I want to pour a queso on top of it. I want to get into it for real. So, let's see where we can find that at. I figured out where I'm going and exactly what I'm getting. It's a place called Pablito's Tacos. And this is the burrito that I'm gonna get. Doesn't it look insane? Okay, just got to the restaurant. They're still working on the order, so I'm gonna use this time to relax and get ready for my amazing burrito. I'm home. Here is my burrito. It has a poblano pepper stuffed with cheese and al pastor. Put big glob of sour cream whatever this is and some hot sauce i think that's crazy this off-brand soda is so fire that's all guys. I'm gonna put on a movie. Maybe finally watch those Dune movies I was talking about. Watch that and bang this burrito. Oh! <sighs> then probably fall into a food coma most likely. Make sure you follow me on everything. And if you really enjoyed the vibes, make sure you check me out on Kick and Twitch. I host a live stream sesh every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you also like this video. Comment down below, let me know how you felt about it and let me know what you wanna see next. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Mm. Oof. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Pablito's Tacos. Ah! 